Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is treatment uh, in these hyperbaric chambers we have here. Uh, so during treatments, uh, people breathe in the 100% oxygen, and that oxygen goes into the lungs, uh, and then is sent into the bloodstream and to the tissues of the body. And so what happens is we increase the tissue concentration of oxygen when they breathe in the 100% oxygen under the pressures that we use. The way the oxygen affects a wound, uh, we usually deal with chronic type wounds uh, or it would uh, deal with an area that's been damaged by radiation. The body detects that as, as a chronic wound and doesn't uh, repair it the same way it would repair uh, an acute wound or something that just has, ha just has occurred. When a wound occurs, there's a oxygen gradient, meaning there's oxygen in the tissue surrounding the wound uh, and less oxygen inside the wound itself. And that's one of the triggers for body healing. The body will tend to heal itself when it detects that oxygen gradient. In a chronic wound, that oxygen gradient goes away. Uh, by putting someone to the hyperbaric chamber, we return that oxygen gradient and it stimulates the body uh, to start healing the wound, laying down scar tissue and laying down uh, new blood vessels. It's, it's, what stimulates wound, wound healing is interesting. I mean, this is only one component, one component of wound healing, that oxygen gradient is only one component. Um, but if you think about it, you know, if you, if you cut yourself, it starts healing pretty much right away. And in a couple days, you see the, you see the change. Uh, and in uh, these, these chronic wounds, especially like these diabetic foot ulcers that have um, very poor circulation around it, that, that uh, gradient's gone. Uh, and by recreating that, it just stimulates new blood vessels and stimulates the body to lay down new layers of tissue. Patients are placed in the chamber and the chamber is pressurized with 100% oxygen. The sensation is similar to that in going up, uh, going up in an airplane or landing in an airplane when the system compresses itself. Most patients sit back and watch TV. Uh, a lot of patients will sleep. You can sip on water while you're in there. Uh, that's fairly comfortable.